What's this? What is this? That's confirmation of the interference claim, which I proofed up top. What, you think you're working in a fraternity? You don't barge in here when I'm on the phone. Now, why are you so flush? Why am I so what? Your face is red. It looks like you've been in the sun. Um, yeah, I, uh, I, this morning, Lewis uh, took me to the tennis club. He didn't give you a speech about the um, ponies, did he? Oh, God. Can we like to cut one from the herd? <laughs> the ponies. Was he wearing the headband? You know about the headband? With the, oh my God, are you kidding me with that hey, guy? If you guys were playing tennis all morning, how'd you have time to file this? Uh, he, it was this morning, actually, I was on the phone with them, uh, and Lewis helped me. Look at me. And he did the snapping thing, and Greg Look at me. You're high. Get out. So it's Velocity Data Solutions. Did you serve them with notice of the hearing? They're a billion dollar company. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Did you not see the sign outside? Just putting it away, Your Honor. It should already be in your pocket. But you were running late, so perhaps that's why it wasn't. Let the record show the council has fined $1,000 for failing to follow the posted rules of the court. Your Honor, and I didn't mean to. off. Mouthing off? Another outburst like that, and you will be escorted out. Mr. Salinger. Your Honor, this is a waste of your time. The U.S. Patent Office is the only judicial body that should be handling this dispute. Velocity Data Solutions requests dismissal. Your Honor, if I may, this injunction request... Counsel's approach. That's the exhibit filing? Why wasn't I given a courtesy copy? Given the expedited nature of this hearing, I... Hand it to me. Hand it to me? And I would have assumed that a lawyer appearing before a judge would come on time with his mouth shut and prepared the courtesy brief. My apologies. Request denied. Court adjourned for morning. Better luck next time, Harvey. Counselor, you asked to see me. You must have something to say. Excluding friends, associates, and the clients that I represent, there are very few people that I'm on a first-name basis with. And I've never had anyone, let alone a judge I've never met, address me as Harvey in open court. But if you're going to screw me, I guess it's only fair that you call me by name. I could have you brought up on review for talking to me like that. Then we can get it all on record. Get what? Whatever it is that you seem to have against me for no apparent reason, I have a solid argument for any reasonable judge to grant my injunction. So solid, it begs the question, why do you have it in for me? And I don't even know your first name. Really? My wife never mentioned it? Your wife? The woman you had an affair with last month? Pardon me. I was wondering, would I get a discount for being the guy you cheated on your husband with? Can you excuse me for a second? What are you doing here? I had a hearing in front of the judge this morning. It didn't go very well. Why did you lie to him? I'm sorry. I mean, I recall you being tipsy that night, but I'm finding it hard to believe that your memory is so cloudy you forgot I sent you home in a cab. After humiliating me? Well, I was the perfect gentleman. <laughs> yes, exactly. I fall all over myself making a pass, and you do the right thing and send me home. I'm sorry you felt humiliated, but I told you I don't sleep with married women. Right. The moral code. No. It's too big of a pain in the ass, as evidenced by my experience in court this morning. What do you want from me, Harvey? I need you to tell him the truth. I can't. Yes, you can. Why didn't you just tell him? He's never going to believe me. And what makes you think he'll believe me? Because he'd want to. That's not all Wyatt said. He said, rather than spending years fighting this out in court, in 48 hours, He's gonna put this online. That's a little rough, but you get the idea. What are you showing us? Is this a website? Available at the SunTech domain name. All the design plans and calculations have been uploaded. Is this online now? Can be. Which means the whole world will have access to my designs. There'll be 10 knockoffs of that phone before you can catch a cab back to your headquarters. We could file an injunction. Not before tomorrow, and once that technology is out there, 
Good luck putting that genie back in the bottle. Well, then we'll sue. But my client won't have any money. What he will have is credit for the initial design, which, after he incorporates under a different name, will be worth a hell of a lot more money than the $20 million that you're offering. And you're saying that this was all your client's idea? Yes. Look, sometimes when someone pulls a gun on you, instead of bullets, it's filled with blanks. What's this? It's a copy of your drug test results. But this says I passed. You did. Louis showed me a fake. I'm gonna go have a talk with him. You know what? Why don't you let me do it? You think you're ready for the adult table? What, didn't you hear? I just landed my first client. Why do you think I'm showing you this now and not going straight to Louis? Go easy on him. Nope. Good boy. Do you know how long it was before I got to sit at the adult table? It was when I brought in my first client, which I don't recall you having done. And when you screwed up that patent and why it went apeshit on me, I didn't put that on you, I took it on myself because that's my job. And it's your job to do what I say when I say it. So if you're talking about loyalty, you better goddamn earn it. Right. I said I'm sorry and I meant it. Harvey, I want you to trust, I need you to trust me, okay? And I will work as hard as I can, as long as it takes to make that happen. I mean, you, you, you don't even have to pay me, all right? I'll work for free. For free? Well, I meant not forever, just like as a probationary thing. Donna, but, tell Wyatt I'm on my way over. Do you never have to press a button on me? Got that? it. And Jessica wants to see Mike in her office right now. You have the paperwork we talked about? What is this? It's a copy of the Judicial Conduct Codes. A friend of mine works at the Attorney General's office. He gave it to me. We had a nice chat about you. I told him if you were willing to blackmail someone once, chances are you've done it before. He's very anxious to meet you. You think you can get away with screwing my wife and then have me investigated? You actually have it the wrong way around. The only thing I've done so far is have you investigated. What? I never actually slept with Lauren, but I knew you'd never believe me, so I kept my mouth shut. But now that she's getting a divorce, my policy no longer applies. And of course, she's free to date whoever she pleases. And she pleases me. Enjoy your evening, Donald. You know you can't host your dinner there. That's a Wattel Lipton Klein restaurant. Okay, fine. What about this place? Yeah, that'd be great if it was 2004. God, does any of this matter? You see that guy over there by the facts? He's never gonna make partner. Okay, let me guess, because he threw a lousy rookie dinner. No, because he doesn't get it. Get what? He doesn't get that doing good work isn't the whole job. Part of getting it is that things like the dinner actually matter, even when you don't think they do. Look, you were giving me shit this morning because I come and go when I want to. You know why I can do that? Because when I got here, I dominated. They thought I worked 100 hours a day. Now, no matter what time I get in, Nobody questions my ability to get the job done. Get it through your head. First impressions last. You start behind the eight ball, you'll never get in front.